well for me it wasn't an emotional thing, it was more of a, an informative thing. Like, it gave me a good idea of how uh, colonization affected the population of uh, Aboriginal peoples. So Aboriginal Culture Week at NOVA, it's a four day long celebration of Aboriginal culture, Mohawk culture, Aboriginal history, the relationship between, looking at the relationship between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people in Canada, um, talking about identity, about discrimination, about self-esteem. Um, so it's just a week long, four day celebration of us exploring another very important ancient culture in Canada and, and celebrating that, yeah. Understanding of the ways our people, the ways, the traditions, and what happened to Aboriginal people when the Europeans came over. It gives people who aren't Aboriginal, who have no idea about the, uh, about how it affected Aboriginal people. That's why you had people who got emotional over it because they had no idea. So it just hits them like right away. We have four awesome different activities happening. Uh, the first day we have the blanket activity, which is uh, developed by Kairos Canada. It's about um, exploring the 500 years of Aboriginal history and non-Aboriginal history since contact in, in Canada. Um, it's an interactive, exploratory, participatory exercise. Um, we have a whole bunch of blankets laid out on the floor and participants are asked to step onto the blankets and assume the role of an Aboriginal person. There are, there's an, a narrator who is um, walking us through those 500 years of history, um, some of the deeper, uh, darker parts of our history that often get swept under the rug. And there's also um, someone playing the role of a European who is going to kind of change things up as the narrator is going. Um, so it's about like a half hour long interactive experience for people to get a sense of what happened why are things the way they are today? And you had your own government. The treaties officially recognize your power and independence. Over the years, more than 70% of the land set aside for us in the treaties has been lost or stolen, and big companies are allowed to make lots and lots of money from indigenous lands and natural resources. You won some of these battles, but in the end, you were defeated by the government's soldiers. You represent those Métis or Cree leaders who died in battle, were put in jail, or were executed. Please step off the blanket. The blanket activity. We, uh, we did them when we were younger as children. That's how our ancestors and our elders would teach us. It's normally past generation to generation, from what I was told as a young boy. This isn't a matter of just Native people. This is, I find it's a matter of how people treat each other, like overall. If, even if it's just one person, it's not native history, like as a, a race, like a human race, we, we're all one people. I think it went really well. I'm, I'm really pleased. We had a lot of people come in and, and spectate also. So even if they weren't comfortable actively participating, people still got a chance to, to see what was going on. Um, and hopefully we'll talk to others about this. Maybe other people will, will request to have this activity done in their own classroom. That would be amazing if we could uh, bring it to, to more people.